Welcome to Games World. Tonight is Fight Night with Beat the Elite. Yes! Go! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Thank you indeed. Thank you indeed. Welcome to Games World. It is Friday, so what do we play? We play Beat the Elite. Beat the Elite, a cross between Doctor Who and El Dorado. All the technical wizardry of Doctor Who and the acting ability of El Dorado. What a fabulous program it is. Now, what is Beat the Elite? Well, surely you understand because you've been watching this program for weeks and weeks, or maybe you haven't got Sky. If you haven't got Sky and you're watching this at one of your friends' house, as soon as they leave, they talk about you because you're a poor person. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight on with it. You know what happened on Monday? We found ourselves a champion, and it was a very, very special game on Monday because we had five people from Video Games magazines, and one of them one of them, I don't know if video games magazines come from Fleet Street, but if they did, this man would be the king of Fleet Street. Would you please welcome Dave Perry? Yeah. It's not Fleet Street, is it? No, no, where no. That, where, are you, where are you all based? Bournemouth. Oh, Bournemouth. And you, which magazine Service are you with? Tell them all at home. Sega Pro magazine. Sega Pro. The offices of Sega Pro are closed down at the moment because they're all huddled around the streams cheering on their champion. Mm -hmm. And of course what happens now is that Dave has to play against the videators, the meanest, toughest, baddest bunch of players on the planet. And to explain that to you, to explain the first game that you play, which is the game that you play on your own, we have a man who I've always thought, Bernard Breslau, very talented in the Carry On films. What about if we put a wig on him? I wonder what he'd look like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Boone. Thanks very much indeed, Bob. The first game tonight is Cash Dash. This is, of course, the game that's exclusive to Games World. You can't buy it in the shops. This is the game in which you've got one minute to rush around the screen, collecting as many coins as you can. And, Dave, it's crucial you pick up as many as possible, because these are the coins that translate to points you can use to bet throughout the game. Now, trying to stop you will be robots, but luckily there are icons you can run over to speed you up or slow them down. But if you want my advice, don't stop for anything. Just carry on collecting. There you go, Cash Dash. You played it on Monday, now you play it all on your own. The more points you get, the more chance you've got of getting onto our leaderboard, which we'll explain as the programme goes on. But for now, please, Dave, take your position at the console. <laughs> Very best of luck. I'm sure the audience here will be right behind you. The game will start when you hear the bell, and that will be, of course, right now. OK, away he goes. Now, one thing for Dave to remember is you can actually punch the robots out of the way if you use your punch button, but the key thing is to try and look for where the most points are. Just frozen the robots there. One. That's it. Now, another key thing is don't get stuck on the scenery. To just go for the, where the main coins are, which is exactly what Dave's doing at the moment. He's doing well. Now, get down towards the bottom there. Go for that icon. Yeah, that's cool. Now, pick up all those coins that you've just come around to. He's doing very well, Bob. What very do you think? Very well, indeed. Excellent. He's doing very well. He's not wasting any time no, this, this... taking on the robots. He's avoiding them, and he's looking for clusters. He's not going for stray coins, yep. and that's very important. We're definitely in the presence of a pro, a Sega pro, no less, which is what, uh, what he's up to at the moment. Now, there's a good ring of coins down the middle of the screen. So at the top left is where he needs to go now. No, you don't but want to be, yeah, but you don't yeah. want to be go wandering off after one coin. No, and we'll also try and, try and make sure that the robots aren't on your tail as you're, as you're wandering around. And above all, don't get stuck on the scenery. How's he doing? 41 ah, with 12 seconds frozen. to go. Come on. go on, Dave, get over to the right. That's where you need to be. I don't know if you can hear me above the crowd, but go over to, now, up to the top, across to the middle. 50. Across the middle, you're doing it. You're doing very well. Don't get stuck. You're out of time now. Thoroughly decent first round, Bob. 58 points. You do work for a, for a video magazine which reviews things. What do you think of Cash Dash? I think it's great. I think someone should uh, get their act together, get it in the market. If Smash TV and games like that can do OK, then I reckon that's, you know, I reckon that's got potential. Well, thank you very much. That's, uh, thank you very much. It's a humble game, but one we like to call our own. <laughs> And people do write in and say, hey, it's a great game, it's a really great game. So there you go, now it's official. And who knows? 
Who knows? Just look for the big box with Tim Boone's picture on the front, and that'll be Cash Dash. But, Tim, for the first game tonight, what are we going to be playing? The next game tonight is Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo. And as you know about Games World, there's absolutely no expense spared. We're going all the way to Thailand to play it. This is the game in which you get to choose from your eight characters and then basically beat the hell out of your opponent. There are no rules to this game. You punch, you fight, you kick, you do whatever you can and wherever you can. Street Fighter 2. So, Dave, how many do you want to bet? How many of your 58 points do you want to lay on the line? I'm only going to put five on this one. I'm not too confident. <laughs> Street Fighter 2, the staple fare, but no, five points. Take this mallet and let's see which one of our videators is going to, I think, be grinding you into the dust. Wait for it. Spin the wheel. I mean, you're on time, Dave. Big Boy Barry. Yeah. Yes, and here he is, the man natural from Mega Drive, the superstar of the Super Nintendo. It can only be Big Boy Barry, friends of the stars, confidant of millions. He is the oh, only Barry. unbeaten videator here on... James Wilde. Good to see you, Barry. I'm sorry, Bob. I know it's not much like me, but I'm a bit agitated today. It's uh, Demi Moore online, too. Do you mind? Ask you. We'll wait. We'll wait. Thanks. Hi, Demi. No, darling. Look, I don't want to marry you. I've already told you it's not my baby. No, it's not. What? Oh, fine. He's bet five points that five. he can beat you. Five. It's hardly worth it, is it? Well, not really. It's called cutting your losses. I wasted my time for this. Pretty Five much so. Points. But it's Street Fighter 2, and just for the joy of watching you perform, I will ask you gentlemen to take your places at the console. <laughs> Best of luck to both of you. Let's play. Oh, once again, Barry over on the right playing Chun Li, and Dave is over on the left with Guile. Street to the action already. Chun Li has given Dave some serious trouble. Guile is in trouble here. Chun Li's moving in. Can we be seeing a perfect? Is she going to capitalise on that? Great foot sweep there from Guile. Gets him out of trouble. But it's a great throw. Finishes the first round. Barry wins the first round. Oh, because it's Away we go again. Let's see what Dave can find in the bag here. Let's have a look. Here we go again, and already Giles punching out of the corner. But he missed time that one completely, and he's coming with a kick. Are we seeing a comeback here? What's Barry doing? He's just come back up. Great foot kick there, and he's in with the punches. Really making the most. Giles in a dizzy, and a good throw. He's making the most of it. Is he going to follow through the attack? Dave Perry is in big trouble. Giles is in massive trouble. It's all over. A great victory for Big Boy Barry. I take it all back. The only video to with an unbeaten record. Here he goes. Another victory which means that Dave is down to 53 points. Now, it's been great to have you, and we'll be seeing you back again very soon, hopefully. And it's all good out, Bob, using long words, but the fact is, you can bring on this stage any Flash, Tom, Dick or Harry, but there's no one in the world who can beat the big boy, Barry. Yes! It. Give it up, big boy, Barry! Hey! <laughs> What are you hoping comes up next? Ooh, something on the Sega. Definitely. NHLPA hockey would be nice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, we'll see. Well, let's find out. Tim, what are we playing next? OK, Dave, you ready for this one? We're playing the bonus stage of Sonic 2. This is where Sonic and Tails race head-to-head -head down the twisting, turning track, trying to pick up as many rings as they possibly can and even wrong for each other in the process. Watch out, though, for the bombs which will try and hinder you on your way. It's very important that you know where they're going to be so that you can dodge around the screen trying to miss them. It's fast, it's furious. Hey, it's Games World. How many are you going to bet playing very much on your home turf? Five. Oh, get out of there. Game of your dreams. It's the top game that you've got. Five? You, you sure about five? Yeah, yeah. You're saving all this up, aren't you, for the last game? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 the thing about games playing is it's tactical as much as anything else. Uh, I'm, I'm just tactical. I'm playing the show tactically. Uh huh. Don't worry. There is tactics, and then again, there's cowardice. <laughs> as long as you realise there's a thin line between the two, that's fine. Five points. I ask you, please, to spin the wheel. And Dave, in your own time, give it a whack. It's Master Moriarty! Well, 
there are good children and there are bad children, and if you have a really bad day, the stork might leave you Master Moriarty. He's just too good to be true. He usually wins, but for the last two weeks, he's lost. The young master, what a great honor to see you again, and thank you very much for descending into the bowels of the hoi polloi to be with us today. And you brought something with. What's this you've got? Yes, Mr. Mills, well, today I've decided to treat some of you illiterate, uncultured fools. That's you he's talking about, by the way. Thank you. Go on. <laughs> Quiet! Go on. To one of my many wonderful arts, namely music, that is decent music. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, you're going to play the violin for us, I take that means, does it? Yes. Fine, super, fine. Here we go. <laughs> That's super, that really is super, ladies and gentlemen. That's magnificent. So you can go home tonight and listen to your stupid grunge music, whatever it is, and think there is quality in the world, and it lives here, in the soul of this man, this most cultured of all our videators. So if I could ask you, please, gentlemen, to take your places at the console. <laughs> The game starts when you hear the bell, and that will be right now. OK, away we go. As the computer will tell you in a minute, most rings wins. So, well, once again, for everybody at home, Sonic is played by Dave and Tails. That's played by our very own Master Moriarty. Now, who's going to pick up the rings first? It looks like, at the moment, it's neck and neck. Both these players are doing OK. I think we could be in for quite a contest here. I think Dave's been hiding, hiding his line under a bushel. We'll just have to wait and see. At the moment, though, Sonic is streaking ahead, and that is Dave Ferry. He's got 15 to Tails is 10. As you say, at the end of the round, it's most rings that wins. Sonic's got 21, and Tails has got 17. A close contest, Bob. I think that uh, he's been very, very wise. Well, and he wasn't at all wise to bet low. In fact, uh, Dave's been betting too conservatively here. Very, very good play. Sonic wins 1 0 to Dave. Second round. 27-25. Away we go. It is close, but of course, at the end of the day, it's who's got the rings. And at the moment, Sonic's picking up again. David Perry knows how to play Sonic and Tails. Away we go again. Avoid the bombs. Oh! They took a tumble, which means that Moriarty is in the lead. He's got 11 to Dave's 5. This could be a comeback here for Tails. Oh, that was close. Almost missed the bombs. You've got to try and remember where the bombs are going to come from so that you can avoid them. But it looks like Tails got this round. 1-1. This is now one, one deciding game. Away we go. Now, of course, you can actually hamper your opponent on this game and try and push them out of the way so you can pick up the rings. And, of course, as you can see, the guys are spinning out of trouble, which is key. At the moment, Tails, which is Moriarty, is in the head. He's the orange character. But Sonic, that's our very own Dave Perry. It's very, very close, this Bob. It's 18-13 currently to Moriarty. This is going to be really nail-biting stuff. 22, Moriarty's ahead. Now, if he could have another top there, could Sonic do it? Oh, he needed to get the top. Go on, Sonic, pick him up. Can you do it, Dave? It's very, very close. No one's taking it. It's very close. This is zero. This is just six in it. And Tails has won. And Bob, a really close game. Just one tumble in the entire match. But Moriarty's done it, which means that Dave is down to 48 points. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Moriarty. <laughs> win it all back. I've seen it before. They go off the interval and they come back suddenly and hope has been restored. So please, don't forget to join us after this break. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome indeed to the second half. We have Dave Perry from Sega Pro. Dave, who started off on cash test with 58 punts, but has been betting like a pensioner who's accidentally <laughs> wandered into a casino. Two, I'll have two five pound bets, please. That's all you've done. It's like Grand National Day here, where they all come out with their fivers. Mm. And he's left now with 48 right. points, but this could be the big one. I've just, I have a sense that this might be the one where it all comes good. Tim, what are we playing? OK, Bob, the next game tonight is King of the Monsters 2 on the Neo Geo. This is the game in which you have to imagine a city like, like London, then imagine two huge monsters the size of skyscrapers just trashing the place as they try to trash each other. Pick up planes and throw them, pick up buildings and throw them, and if you can pick up each other, 
throw yourselves too. This game is all action on the Neo Geo. It's one of my favourites. Key thing for Dave to remember, though, is that 48 points isn't that bad, you know. Fifth position on the leaderboard at the moment is 61. So if he bets judiciously, he can make it up there. How many of your 48 points do you want to bet? I want to bet 47. 47? <laughs> Seven points, leaving yourself with one. I dread to think what you'll have if you win. You've, you've played this game before, have you? Uh, once or twice, only once or twice. But uh, luck's got to change sooner or later. Once or twice, only, yeah, I've played poker against this very person, I'm sure. <laughs> Take this, let's give it, spin the wheel, please. And in your own time, Dave, give it a good hefty way. It's the lovely Letty Edwards. Grandmother, the high scoring heroine of the video games. It's the one and only Letty Edwards. Here she is again. She's the master of puzzles on all the machines. What's she up to tonight on King of the Monsters? We'll have to wait and see. Letty, my Hi. darling. Uh, lovely to see oh, you. Nice to see you. You well? I'm very well. Everything thank you. all right down at the everything's institute fine. and everything? Everything's all fine. All the girls fine. All the girls lovely. fine. Lovely. I want you to meet a young man. This is Dave. This is Dave Perry. This is the lovely Letty Edwards. Hi, Dave. The finest and most dear to our hearts of all these players. Oh, now he's played his violin, you're going to play your tambourine, are you? Well, I baked you this cake, Bob, because the last time I brought you a cake, I believe Tim ate it he all. He did indeed. He did indeed. So I baked you this one oh, myself. Oh, how lovely. It's, Look at it's that. A Don't Look drop at that. it. Don't Can we see that? Yeah. Well, does, does this come out now? Why will it go right to the stage? <laughs> can we see that? Where can we see that? That's, Look at that's that. That's one of my good ones. <laughs> now then. We're playing, you know what we're playing, don't you? We're I playing do. the big King of the I Monsters do. smash I down do. the sky screw. This man has bet everything. He's silly. You don't care, you want no, to take I him don't on. Care. Let's I'm gonna see take him on. Yeah. If we can strip this man bare of everything that he possesses. <laughs> oh right. Can I ask you please to take your places at the console? <laughs> I'll give you a tenner if you okay? eat some of it. All right, yeah. It's um, horrible. You know what the last one was like? I thought that when she brought that in, I thought it was a landmine, not oh. a cake. Now, a landmine would be less dangerous to your health. Well, she can't hear us. Let's just hide oh, it under no. the. Just dump it dump under, under there. Because that last one, you know, I mean, you yes. You want love? Tiling right, in the right? bathroom, Grim. fine, but eating, you wouldn't <laughs> touch it. What Absolutely. do these people think? Don't they know that we spend all our days in expensive restaurants? <laughs> We're quite ready. Best out of three? Best of three it is. Best of three. Wait for the bell, and the game starts right now. Hello, there we go. Once again, for everybody at home, Atomic Guy over on the right, who's just picked up... Oh, no, Cyber, who's just picked him up, and he's gone off the top of the screen with a big landing. Is he going to land on top? Brings him down. Now, the key thing about this game, Bob, is you, you collect power-ups along the way, which allow, allow you to... They've just paused the game, which actually allow you to... Uh, have three stages of power up, and depending on how many powers you can actually oh, pick up, good. depends on what you can do. Now, the key thing is keep pressing that button, you can actually land on top of your guy and really lay on the damage. And as you can see, the power bars over on the right show that Atomic Guy is in big trouble. His power is almost all but gone. Atomic Guy is in big trouble here. Subaru is just great landing, it's it almost all over it is. First round, two. First round of side wounds, so that's first round. Whoa, whoa, all, all, all his skin came off and his skeleton <laughs> collapsed. Oh, I had no idea that was going to happen. Absolutely, so it's first round of Dave. Here we go again. Great electric shock there from Atomic Guys. Superb play there by Letty. But once again, at the point for everybody at home, Dave's winning 1 0. What can Letty do as Atomic Guy? There she is, she's just thrown Cyberwoo across there. It's, be it's a much better game, actually, for Cyberwoo, this one. But still, that damage is down. What can she do with Atomic Guy here? Yep, that took that took some serious damage. She's giving me some nice back kicks. This one, this must remind you of. Oh, uh, that's brilliant. Your front room on a Saturday night, Bob. It's quite a good fight, this one. Absolutely do like, do brilliant. Like this. These guys really do know what they're doing. Pick up those bonus points. They don't bring very much to this game. But you must well do it anyway. As we say, as you can see, Bob, the uh, planes that fly by and the buildings can both be picked up and actually used as weapons. But at the moment, there we go. That's another one to Atomic Guy, which is means we've got one one. One all. Everything you've got hangs on this game, Dave Perry. Here we go for the third round. Now, Dave, your side of Woo, he's the, he's the metallic monkey over on the right, who's having serious trouble at the moment, but he's just picked up Letty as a tonic guy, dumped her down on the floor, and down he comes to finish off. He's giving her some serious kicks. Letty's in big trouble here. The old boy's in big trouble, but, and again, Sabu gets the best of the pickup. She's down on the floor. Letty's in serious trouble. She's almost all out. Yes, they've done it. Dave 
Lewis won. 47 points and he's done it. Great performance by Letty, but Dave has won the day. He's won his 47 points, which puts him up to a staggering 95. Well, Letty, it's absolutely lovely to see you nice again. To see and you, I shall Bob. enjoy the cake. I of hope course, you do enjoy the obviously. cake. Because if you do, I, I might bake you another one. How lovely. <laughs> yeah. And I might put cherries in the next oh, one. Oh, <laughs> that would be. Oh, yes, I love the ones with mm, the cherries in. Yes. Because, hey, what's gallstones between friends? <laughs> lovely to see you. The nice lovely you, Letty Bob. Edwards. <laughs> Well, well played, well played. Bit rattled though, weren't you? I was a little bit, yeah. I, I missed a few kicks and things that I should But listen, thought. just explain one thing to me, because I watch these and I, every now and again I see something that I didn't know you could do. The rockets out of the back. Yeah, that's it. Out of cyber wounds. How, how do you do that? And that's with the B button. You just have to frantically punch the B button when you've got the other one by the neck. So you get him by the neck and then they come out and it's yep. kind of like over the top and, and that's a great that's move. It. it looks good. It does. I enjoy that one tremendously. Right, you're right up there now. You've got, you've got, how many points you got to me? 95, Bob. 95 is a great score. Now, that's when your tactics come in again. Because you have one more game. This is a game where you play on your own. It's, it's a game I love. Tim, what's he got? OK, Bob, the final game tonight is Save the Maiden from Heimdall. The poor girl is still trapped by the eight braids of her hair by those horrible hooligans. It's up to you, Dave, to save her. Luckily, you've got unlimited access, but only 40 seconds to do it. Now, the key thing is that right now, your point situation puts you in third place. Now, I've worked out on my Super Skoda calculator that if you actually bet 11, you can go right to the top. But, of course, if you bet more modestly than that, you'll stay very safely in the top five. So everything to play for here, what are you going to do? So, what are you going to bet? I'm going to bet 10. 10? Yeah. He's going to bet 10. No. <laughs> That's good. If you go, that'll put him in joint first place if he wins, but still keep him in the, on, the, on the leaderboard, even if he loses. So that's, that's good betting. So for the final time in this show, hopefully not in the series, Dave, please take your place at the console. Well, I must just take this chance to say he has bet really, really wisely. If Dave does this, he's in joint first. But even if he doesn't do it, he's actually going to find himself in... Well, fourth position. So he's bet very, very wisely indeed. Well done already. Did I not say that? Did, did, you? I, not, did I not say that five seconds ago? <laughs> hey, Tim. That's what I like someone who sits here and pays attention. You haven't been eating cake, have you, or anything? I have actually, yes. Exactly yeah, what I've been okay. Doing. That explains everything. Lead in the stomach slows down your mental processes. All right, Dave. Oh, Wait yeah. for the bell, and the game will start right now. And away he goes. Fresh one down already. This guy means business. Where is he now? He's going there we go. Like second, there. second one down. He's this taking his time to, to line up. He's actually down to 28 seconds. He's, he's taking a bit of time, but he's slow but sure, this guy. Dave knows what he's doing. Here we go again. Oh, he's close. There we go again. Can it, is he? Oh, he's missing. Oh, he's down on, to 18 seconds. He's, he's down to his last four. Go on, Dave. Can you do it? Yes, he's down on. to his last three. Top one. Yeah, oh, close. That's really close down to the last. No, no, he's still got the three to go. He's down to eight seconds, running out of time. Can Not he do it? do it? He's at the six seconds. He's getting Not stuck on the top it. one. I don't think he's going to do it now. He's down at the bottom. He's got two left. He's out of time now. Oh. And Bob down to the last one, but not close enough. Dave hasn't done it, which means he's down to 85 points. Tim, where does that leave him on the leaderboard? Well, Bob, as I, sorry, we explained earlier on, Dave's bet very wisely, and now he's in fourth position, which means we have to say goodbye to Youssef Badiri. You've joined us on the leaderboard. Hopefully, hopefully you're going to be with us right to the end, but I'd warn you, there are a lot of top quality games players waiting to join me in the ring of broken dreams next week. Don't forget, we're back again on Monday when we play the Eliminator and then the others, whatever they do through the rest of the week. But the big one on Friday, we'll be back for that. We hope you will too. Please join us then. Thanks a lot. Good night. <laughs>